Hey guys, um, happy Thursday. I think it's Thursday. I don't even know. <laughs> uh, my days have been just kind of boop together the past couple of days. Um, but I'm back. I'm finally back. Oh my gosh. It's, it's been so weird the past couple of days not going live when like my husband's been off work so I don't really go live when he's home, you know, or at least awake. So here I am. I'm finally back. All right. And I finally got my little nails in the mail. And so it's going to be funny trying to sit here and figure out how to do my makeup with these claws. I'm so not used to my fingernails being this long. Hi, hope you're having a good day. Kids are finally doing their own thing for a few minutes. So it's me time. <laughs> Definitely me time. All right. So first I'm going to put on some moisturizer. Um, I like my cat wants to go crazy just as soon as I'll throw my but um, I like putting moisturizer on my face before I go uh, do makeup just because it keeps my skin moisturized throughout the day with this good makeup and skincare you have to have really good skincare to have good get makeup application um, I mean I say it all the time I'll continue to say it good skincare good healthy skin will help with makeup application so I always like to put on a little bit of moisturizer just right before I do my makeup and primer and all that good stuff Hi guys, hope you're having a good day. It's showing that people are popping on, but it's not showing who. So hi guys, um, hope y'all are having a good day. Ooh, yeah. We have been having a good past couple days though. Um, Monday, we went to the lake and we had, we had a really good time. We didn't want to leave and um, we was planning on going back the next day, but life happens <laughs> but we definitely can't go this weekend when hubby's off because you know being memorial day weekend it's gonna be swamps and i'm not i'm not really one of those crowd people <laughs> all right so i'm putting on just a little bit of primer but yeah i'm definitely not one of those crowd people that you know is you know comfortable being around oodles of people oodles and oodles of people and if y'all are local y'all know that the lake gets kind of swamped um during holidays like this <laughs> for real okay and i washed my makeup brushes the other day and i tried to go live yesterday and then my makeup brushes were still wet i'm like why why all right and because i have these fingernails now i can't get my finger in my primer i usually put my finger in my primer and just do it like this but i can't get my finger in there so i'm gonna be using one of these little brushes to get it out Hopefully it works. I'm not. I'm not used to having fingernails. Like I ordered them, and um, I was like, "Yeah, I can handle." Because I usually, if I do get press-on nails, I get really short ones. My cat's going nuts, y'all. Apologize. <laughs> but um, I usually get the short nails, and this time I got like medium length. I kind of look funky right now, but medium length. I'm like, I can handle it. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. I'm ha it's like having to relearn how to do everything with my hands. I'm like, I did not know that fingernails you know, would cause such an issue. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit of eye primer. Let's see if I can get up there. We go. Get on my finger. I really like just smudging this on with my finger. I don't know why. I mean, they make brushes for it, but. I'm just an oddball. I gotta figure out what I'm cooking for dinner tonight. Cause honestly, I'm in one of those moods that I just don't want to cook, but I don't want to order takeout either. <laughs> it's like one of those pickle days where you're danged if you do, danged if you don't. I, I for real do not feel like cooking tonight already. It's not even dinner time yet. <laughs> All right, so that's eye primer a little bit underneath my finger now that's another thing I'm having to be careful with I'm like oh once these finally pop off I don't know if I'm getting any more medium length um, nails I don't know but then again after I get used to them I probably, yeah, yeah, I'll still get these until my nails start getting damaged and then I'm, I'm done yeah I usually wear them for about a month and then my nails start to get damaged and then I'm like I'm done <laughs> I'm done trying to be a girly girl. <laughs> this is like way out of what I usually do. I usually nail strips. 
but the girl usually well, wanted to get. Um, I got some from her, but then I wanted to get some more. She doesn't do it anymore. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna find somebody else. My sister in law said that they'd have some on eBay, so I'm like, maybe. All right, so I'm putting on just a little bit of concealer on all the um, dark spots or blemishes. And I have another, I have a scar right here. It's like a red scar. And I've got another one right there and right there. For the life of me, I'm still trying to figure out where they're coming from. I like to put a little bit of concealer around here. Because if you notice, before I put on concealer, it kind of had like a a red reddish tone I don't know why I'm always so pink right there hi hope you're having a good day the kids are not entirely happy with us right now <laughs> we um we're having issues with them you know doing our chores and I don't think that part's supposed to come off. No, baby, it's not supposed to come off. No, I want to get it with my finger. Baby, I can't get the lid off. It's not going to come out if I can't get the lid off. Why don't you see if Sissy can get it? My fingernails are kind of hard to do anything with. But uh, they're not happy with us. We've been having issues with them doing their chores and wanting to listen and stuff. So we've limited the TV time that they have to, like, they can watch TV, breakfast, lunch, and like, cause we sit in the living room and eat. So like, you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, watching TV, and right before bedtime. They don't like it at all. They're like, I just want to watch TV. Nope, go find something to do. They don't like it. I cannot. There we go. I was about to say, I can't get my transparent powder open. Gosh, y'all, I don't know if I'm a fan of these nails. All right, so I'm putting just a little bit of transparent powder over my primer and concealer. And um, eyeshadow primer. Um, I've seen other people doing that on their makeup stuff. Um, they say it's putting transparent or setting powder over your primer can actually help reduce the uh, look of your pores, like the size. So I'm like, cool. I'm gonna try it. And I've tried it, and it seems to be doing good. The bad thing is my freckles are starting to come out though. Oh my gosh. I never realized how many freckles I actually have until summertime comes around and um, I start going out in the sun and they're just like boop, boop, boop. I'm like, oh, what is that? You know, when I was a kid, I was one of those kids that wished I had like tons of freckles and I never had that as a kid. I had, you know, a couple of them and now that I'm adult, they're just like, Phew. I'm like, oh, well, okay then. <laughs> All right, Butterfingers. I can't hold anything. Holly, swear. All right. So yesterday, I took a picture of my eyelashes and this eyebrow because um, I bought that eyebrow and lash serum to try to grow up my lashes and grow out this bald spot. It's growing back a lot. But I took a picture of it yesterday. Now you know I brushed my eyebrow, make sure it looked kind of decent and I saw rogue hairs. Y'all, I got brave and I plucked them and it doesn't look terrible. I'm just, I'm happy I didn't like pluck half my eyebrow off and get all pluck happy with it. That's why I'm trying to grow this bald spot out, being pluck happy throughout my teenage years. And now it's just kind of like not wanting to grow back. And so I've been using that lash and eyebrow serum for, tom what's today? Tomorrow will be a month and it has grown back a lot and my eyelashes have gotten darker and thicker and um they're not really longer yet i mean they're a little longer but they're thicker and i'm like because you know before um i had bought that lash serum i was highly thinking like really thinking about getting eyelash extensions you know everybody else is doing it right and uh getting microbladed or whatever it is and um I was like, eh, let me try this stuff just because, you know, I work, I mean, I'm with pharmacy. I just want to see how it works so I can talk about it and, you know, oh my gosh, best decision I made. Saved me a ton of money because there's microblading people around here that's charging like, I don't know, $250. And I'm like, well, shoot, if I can just grow them out, 
the way I want them without, you know, having bald spots. And, um, you know, shape them the way I want. I don't need microblading or eyelash extensions or whatever. I'm just, I'm tickled. I'm so tickled that it, it was only, let's see, it was $25.90 retail, so I, I get half off um, being a beauty influencer. So it didn't cost me hardly anything. And I'm like, yeah, I'm saving money. I'm a mom of three, so I've got to save money where I can. Um, I did, I've been hearing a lot of good things about our micellar water makeup remover. So I've just been using our Scentsy wipes to just get my makeup off. I did go ahead and order some, um, I'm using a different eyebrow brush today just to see how it works. But, um, I went ahead and ordered some micellar water. So I can't wait for it to come in and I can actually try it. I tried uh, micellar water with another company that I was with and it was, it was okay. It was an oily. But this one doesn't have, I mean, the one that I ordered doesn't have that one. We do have one with like the bi phase, but I chose not to because I'm already oily. I don't want to add oil to my face. I mean, I will eventually order it just to see, but um, not right now. I also ordered um, some of the tea tree face wash. Um, I have been using the Rose line and the Calendula line here lately, and I've been noticing I'm a little oily because of the uh, the weather, um, you know, sweating more and stuff like that. And I was like, my face is oily and it's causing breakouts. And our tea tree line is for oily prone skin, acne prone skin, so I can't wait for that to come in too. That way I can try it and try to get rid of some of the stuff. <laughs> Like my other two face washes are working really well up until summertime and my skin kind of just did its own thing. <laughs> yeah, my skin just likes to do what it wants to. <laughs> just like my kids, they do what they want to. I'm excited for my bonus daughter, so. Um, after my daughter's birthday party, a couple days after we have her birthday party, they're going to be going to spend some time with their mom for summer break. And I'm tickled. I'm just so tickled for them. Because I know they're going to have a good time. Hey. Chillax. Chillax, little girls. Chillax, chillax. Y'all are not going to be fussing this time on my live. You know, last time I went live, they were like, wah! I'm like, I couldn't even post that video on YouTube. I'm like, I, I just can't. <laughs> I cannot. It was so, I was just like, I, you know, why do y'all have to do this on my life? No, afterwards, I don't care. I don't care. Because then, you know, if you wake up your daddy, it's on y'all. But, you know, don't be making the fool on my life. My daughter is so freaking funny, y'all. She's going to be four on June 2nd. And this little girl has been asking for months to get a, um, it's a Barbie. It's, it's the farmer collection that raises chickens. And uh, she's like, I want the chicken Barbie. I'm like, how did you even know about the chicken Barbie? <gasps> I didn't even know about the farmer line until she's like, I want a chicken Barbie. I'm like, you know, I just Googled it in uh, Amazon, Barbie chickens, and it popped up, and I'm like, okay, okay, like, seriously? It's cool, though. It's pretty cool. But her birthday is uh, a couple days before her birthday party, so what I'm thinking about doing is having her open, like, one gift on her actual birthday. That way she's not, it's my birthday, and I didn't get nothing, you know? I don't want that. I mean, every year when my bonus dollars have a birthday in the middle of the week, they will get something to open before their party. Chitrins. Chitrins. Chitrins, don't ignore me. Y'all don't be fighting in there. Come on. Get a big old t-shirt and put y'all in there until y'all start behaving. Start getting along. 
I did that one time with my bonus daughters when they were little, when they were younger. Um, they just kept fighting all day long. So I just got an oversized t-shirt, made them hug each other for a little while and tell them, well, I love you, I'm sorry for fighting with you. That's right. <laughs> yeah, love each other. I like it. They do, they really do love each other. Just, they fight like cats and dogs. See, I remember my sister and I, my sister and I are twins. I remember us, you know, just getting into it sometimes, but not all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? I mean, until we were like, teenagers, but they're not teenagers yet. <laughs> Y'all, pray for me. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Struggle bus is real over here with these attitudes. <laughs> And then as soon as I said that, my daughter's in the dinette going, hee 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 hee, with her evil laugh. I'm like, my children, man. My youngest, my four-year-old, I swear she's part gremlin or something. <laughs> I love my little gremlin, but goodness gracious, she is a mess. A complete handful. All right, so that brow is about as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> I did order me a brow pencil too, so I'm waiting for that to come in. I have a brow pencil over here in the shade that I'm in, but it's, I bought it when I first joined pharmacy, so it's kind of, I don't know, um, it feels like it's kind of dried out, and plus my kids got a hold of it, or cat, one of them, pop, top popped off, and I don't know where it went, so I just went ahead and got me another one. Which is not bad. I mean, my price to get like a new brow pencil is like next to nothing. So that is like huge for me is being able to get makeup for 50% off and be able to share it. The makeup that I love with everybody is like, I love, I love what I do. I really do. You know, my grandma, she always told me, once you find something that you love to do, don't let go of it. Do not let go of it. Continue on and push. And that's what I'm doing. Um, my granny means the world to me. And the fact that we're having... Uh, I'm not going to get sappy again. Or at least try not to. But the fact that, you know, she's got advanced dementia and stuff like that. It's been really hard to deal with. Um, like, mentally. Watching. Like, mentally for me, watch, see her, what she's going through. And just... It's hard, you know. I, I'm not gonna get sappy again. Last time I got on live and talked about my granny, I'm sitting here boohooing. But that woman means the world to me. Sorry, y'all. When I get focused, I get kind of quiet. I'm trying to make sure that my eyebrows look the same. This one's a little bit more thicker than this one so I gotta plump this one up just a little I swear my eyebrows are never going to be twins they're just gonna be like sisters or cousins or second cousins or something <laughs> they're never going to be the same but I used to use this brow brush like I, it's new for me because I haven't used it in a while but I used to use it a while back and I just honestly lost it because <laughs> I have so many makeup brushes and um I found it the other day and I'm like, oh, yes, y'all, I have a problem with makeup brushes, like a big problem. Like I'm not even going to lie, I have a problem. <laughs> makeup brushes and this makeup, like some people have asked me, well, do you get a subscription for this or do you use this? I do not. I use nothing but pharmacy <laughs> because I realize the quality of this makeup in the price range compared to the competitors I'm like I'm not about to spend more for a brand name just because it's like Kylie or Lady Gaga or whatever you know I'm just like this is like the best stuff I have ever used so I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna do that I'm trying to make sure that at least my eyebrows look like sisters instead of cousins. Hang on. They really do look like cousins. <laughs> but you know what? It's good. It's good. 
Y'all, I am tickled pink. Um, my daughter is four, but we've already established that we're just going to stay a homeschool family. We've been homeschooling for three years now, I mean. So we're just going to stay homeschooling. But I'm seeing um, people that I went to school with have kids about the same age as my daughter. And they're like, oh my gosh, they got accepted into pre-K. And I'm like, yay, yay, yay. <laughs> you know, and it's just one of those things I'm like, that's one thing for me that I'm missing out on because, you know, we're choosing to be homeschooled. I mean, I had that with my bonus daughters when they first started school. Um, you know, they went to public school for pre-K and kindergarten. Lana went all the way up to first grade. But um, that's one thing that I am missing with my daughter um, is, you know, the acceptance letter to school and all that. But she's pretty tickled. She, um, I actually finished all of her schoolwork assignments. I got everything ready that I need to do for next year for her pre-K. And I showed it to her. She's excited for it. So I'm hoping she stays excited for it. Hope, hope, hope so. And I'm trying so hard not to keep putting my hair up. So if you see it looking all bushy and all that, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I, I realized the other day that I've become one of those moms that just throws their hair up, doesn't do anything with it but wash it and brush it after I'll, you know, I'll brush it after I wash it and just put it up. And then it has caused me to um, get some damage, a little bit of damage from the hair ties and stuff. So I'm like, I need to take better care of my hair. I'm using really good conditioner and shampoo, so it need, I need to take care of my hair. Because my shampoo and conditioner, you know, can only do so much if I, you know, don't change my habits. It's just going to continue to stay that way. So... My hair wants to do its own thing. As soon as I start talking about my hair, that's when it wants to do it, whatever it wants to. <laughs> Isn't that usually how it goes? Okay, back to business, guys. But first, coffee. Mm. Isn't this a cool mug? This is one of those Death Wish um, coffee mugs that are custom made. Well, not custom made. Um, they're handmade, and they only make a certain amount. Um... So it's pretty cool. It's limited edition. That's what I meant to say. Limited edition, guys. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think if I missed anything before I move on. Nope. Okay. So I'm going to be using um, three different colors today for my eyeshadow besides, you know, the highlight that I do in the corner and my brow line. I'm going to be using... Let me see if I can open them with these fingernails. Okay. So I'm using... This really pretty color, it's like a champagne-ish tan color, shimmery color. It's called Satin, S-A-T-E-E-N. I think that's how you pronounce it. Satin Ribbon, super pretty. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that. And then we're gonna be going into Amazon Green. And this has become one of my favorites. I just, I never would have thought that I would be comfortable with wearing green eyeshadow until I got this eyeshadow and I started playing with it. I'm like, this is fire. I don't even know if that is still like an acceptable term for the word cool because I live under a rock. I mean, I don't have cable. Um, if we watch TV, we stream it. So, I mean, I live under a rock. You know, and <laughs> so I don't know. <sighs> okay, lost my train of thought. Tension span of a goldfish, y'all. Alright, and then I'm coming in with this uh, brown color. I think it's called taupe brown. Super pretty. And that's going to go on the outside corner of my eye. So, without further ado, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to procrastinate a little since I haven't been on live in like, I don't know, three days. It feels weird. So, I'm kind of like just trying to take my time because I miss being live. I'm just, I missed it. It's just getting to the routine of doing something and then when you don't do it for a couple days, you're like, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just one of those weird people that has to stick to a routine. Once I get down with a routine, that's it. You know, I've got to stick to it. I don't like change very often. Alright, so I'm putting just a little bit of that Amazon Green on my crease brush. And I'm going to start at the outer corner and work it through my crease. Hi, hope you're having a good day. Sitting here playing in makeup and catching up. I feel like every time I don't go live, I have to catch up with everybody because I'm like, what's been going on? <laughs> That's 
swear. All right, so like I said, this Amazon green is going into the crease. And because I do have hooded eyelids, like I have to lift my eyebrow, but so you can see it, but I have hooded, eyel hooded eyelids. So I go a little bit above the crease line just so when I actually do close my eye, well, not raise my eyebrow, got a little bit of Anyway, so you know, when I close, open my eye like normal, instead of walking around like this, you can actually see what's going on in there. And I don't know about you, but if I take the time to do my makeup, I want y'all to see what's going on. Next couple of days are gonna be like super busy. Um, tonight and tomorrow, we have another training in our VIP group, which is gonna be fire. I've been waiting for these two. I'm so excited. And then of course we got the weekend off. And then um, we have one almost every day. I think I'll, no, it's every day next week. I'm super pumped y'all. These trainings, I get so excited for them. Like right before the training starts like 15 minutes and they post the link and I'm sitting there like, come on, come on, come on, let me in. <laughs> I'm ready to learn. Like I'm ready to be a sponge because I am ready to just, you know, I'm ready to do whatever it takes. And I think once people get to that point that they are super ready to just do whatever it takes to succeed is when you start actually feeling the burn, like feeling the fire. And I feel the fire. I'm ready. I'm so ready. I'm pumped. And just to be able to connect with all of these different people that are in the same boat as I am, that are wanting to learn, that are wanting to grow. It's just like an amazing atmosphere, even though we are in a Zoom, like, a meeting on the phone you know what I'm saying it's not in person but it's, it's it's just a it's a special environment like it is it's awesome to be around so many different people that are like-minded and want to just grind. hey that's enough little banshee I really do think my child might be part gremlin or banshee or something I really do. Like, golly, what in the world? She's got a set of lungs on her. And I'm like, what is your problem, child? She'll, most of the time that she'll sit there and scream, she'll just sit there and look at me and smile. I'm like, are you possessed? That's my boo, though. That's my baby. Y'all get a jabbering, and I get all kinds of sidetrack. Attention span of a goldfish. I swear, man, it's so bad. It's so bad. I used to not be this way. I used to be on my P's and Q's and stuff like that. And then mom life happened, and I don't sleep anymore. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of liking that already. I decided playing some colors today. Got tired of doing the same thing over and over and over. So I'm like, let's play some colors. All right, so we're gonna come in with satin ribbon. I'm gonna go right. I gotta get used to these nails, guys. Oh my gosh. Huh. I don't know if it's worth being a girly girl anymore. Like, I used to not be one of those girls that had their nails done, had highlights, and mm, back back in the day, my makeup routine was basically eyeshadow, mascara, and foundation, <laughs> and just brush my hair. And... I did have some pretty cool hair, hair stuff back in the day, though. I've had my hair white and black. I've had my hair pink and white. I've had my hair blonde with black underneath with burgundy highlights oh man I used to I used to spend way too much money on my hair but nails like last time I actually sat down in a salon to get my nails done gosh it's been like 15 years um, the only time that I actually did go to a salon and sit down I 
I didn't get my nails like acrylics. I just got it painted. It was my wedding night. Well, wedding day. The day before my wedding. Something like that. Everything was a blur. It was got to the point where we were rushing so much to get everything done that it was just like, and I'm like, where'd the time go? You know, well, the next thing I know, I'm walking down the aisle. <laughs> and then after we said our dues, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got a picture of it and everything. And of course, the picture, I've got like this glare in my eye, so I look evil. <laughs> but it's okay. It was a good night. I remember after we had gotten married, our after party was at my brother-in-law's house. And he lived, at the time, he lived out in the middle of nowhere. So we just cranked up the music. We had a huge bonfire. We got married December 31st. And my husband and I slept in a tent that night. <laughs> but it was, it was fire. We, we had a good time. We had a really good time. I don't know what it is about getting everybody to get on his side of the family. Once you get everybody together and you actually start, you know, vibing with everybody, it is the best time. Like, I love my in-laws. I really do. I've known them. Golly, how long have I known my in-laws? I met my, I met my father-in-law back in 2000. Yeah, 2000. Like, throwback <laughs> but yeah I've known him since 2000 I've known my husband since 2000 but as far as and I've known my sister-in-law since then we really didn't hang out but we knew of each other but we I, I didn't actually end up meeting the rest of my husband's side of the family until right before we got married so I'm trying to look for a brush all right so I'm taking my blending brush I'm gonna blend in that tote brown in the corner well, the outside corner. Man, I have some of the weirdest faces when I do my makeup. I just noticed the other day when I sit there doing my makeup, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh gosh, is that what really people see is me doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even on my YouTube channel, my YouTube, um, my YouTube channel starting to pick up a little bit of viewers, and I'm like. <sighs> You know, it's not much, but, you know, 10, 15 views on a video. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, you know, because YouTube is an uncharted territory for me. Like, I don't know who's watching my videos. Like, at least when I'm on live, I can kind of see who's watching my videos as far as when I'm live. But when it comes to loading something on YouTube, it's like another dimension of people. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of scary. Like, it took me months to work up the cojones to be able to make my own YouTube channel. And I'm trying to run with it. So when I got 15 views on one of my videos, I'm like, oh. I, I was so tickled, like extremely tickled. Like it's completely humbling to me that, you know, the people that come on my lives or the people that watch my YouTube channel, um, it's humbling. Because out of all the different people that you could watch, of all the videos that you could watch, you choose mine. You know what I'm saying? So that's, wow. You know, I am extremely, you know, humbled for the people that follow me, the people that watch, you know, the people that order from me. It's truly a humbling thing. But the most humbling thing for me, as far as what I do, is when someone messages me or texts me or whatever emails me and I can help them come up with a solution to what's going on and I'm like that for me it beats everything else because I'm more of I will give you the shirt off my back type of person like I will go above and beyond to help somebody so the fact that you know the people that do order for me come to me and I can help them solve certain issues or go through what they need that's, that makes my day. Like, I, I stay busy trying to help as many people as I can. And it's gotten to the point that I realized I kind of have to be ticky with who I want on my team. I mean, I want everybody on my team. 
just be honest. I want everybody on my team, but I want people that want it for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Because my sponsor told me, and it hit me in the butt so hard, because when I first started pharmacy, I was, you know, what is this or what is that? You know, instead of doing my own research. And she's like, I cannot do this for you. And that's just kicked me in the butt. And ever since then, I realized, you got to want it for yourself. Because ain't nobody going to want it more than you. Nobody's going to hold your hand your whole life. And you just know, coddle to you. You have to want it for yourself. And I think that's what the biggest kick in the butt that I've ever received from, and at the time, a complete stranger. You know? And it took, a com well, at the time, a complete stranger to just, yeah, yeah she's right, you know? So I like runners, but of course, you know, like I said, I would I would love everybody on my team. <laughs> it's just who I am. I'm really digging these colors today. Kind of looks like the woods, and if y'all haven't noticed from my actual Facebook page. I love being out in the woods. It's like, for me, being out in the woods is like therapy. Like, just to be able to get in the truck, ride out to the woods, roll the windows down, turn that music up, and just forget for a little while. That is so therapeutic for me. So, this makeup look today is, we'll call it woodsy, woodsies, <laughs> or something, we'll call it something. It's the forest. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm trying to find this book right here. I'm gonna wipe off the. Hi, hope you're having a good day. But I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the eyeshadow, um, eyeshadow primer first. Having these long fingernails, I'm not used to using a brush for my eye primer. I'll be so glad when all this pollen is finally done. Excuse me. Doing its thing. I can't take it no more. My poor allergies cannot take this pollen anymore. I mean, I love being outside. I love being out in the woods. I love, you know, nature. But just me and pollen do not get along. Pollen and I. Excuse me. Pollen and I do not get along. All right. So, I'm coming back in with the Amazon green. I'm going to hit right up underneath my waterline. Oh, go buddy. Go buddy. <laughs> it's so funny watching your kids, you know, when they first learn how to potty train run to the bathroom. I've got a potty! My child is the world's worst about waiting until I sit down to eat to have to go take a dump. Every single time that I sit down to eat dinner, she's got to poop. I'm like, can you put your bowels on a different schedule, please? <gasps> and she just looks at me and giggles. I'm like, you better be glad you cute. I might have to go wipe her butt. Leanna! Can you go ask Sissy if she's pee-peeing or poo-pooing? Yes, yeah, I might have to go wipe a little hiney, so. What's that hashtag? Mom life. <laughs> Is she pooping or pee-peeing? Where mom life is something else. I'm telling you, it is something else. And kudos to all those people out there that, that's, you know, got multiple kids and does the thing. Because sometimes, I don't know, someday I don't know if I can do it. I'm just like, oh my gosh, y'all are, you know, driving me crazy. I've got three. I've got two bonus daughters and then my daughter. And they are wild. <laughs> All right, so I'm taking my blending brush and just blending that just a little bit. I don't want it to be too, too thick underneath my eye. I mean, there are some people that will do it thick, and sometimes I do. It just depends on what kind of look I'm going for. Like, if I'm going for more of a, you know, sassy or whatever. Hang she on, Justin. She just TT? Just TT. I gave her some, though. Okay. Okay. Oi. Hang on, little girl's calling me. Just a second.
Okay, sorry about that, guys. My daughter went to go potty, and then she's like, I want a different pair of panties. Okay. All right, so let me brush out this mop again. It's getting to where, like I said, I don't want to keep having to put it up, but it's getting to where every time I move, it becomes a frizzy mess. So, it's one of those situations, dang if you do, dang if you don't, right? Okay. Back to business. I'm thinking, um, if I want to do eyeliner on top, and then if I do, what color? And if I want to do eyeliner on the bottom, if so, what color? <laughs> uh, I can never figure out what I want to do. Like, I thought I had everything I wanted to do right here, and of course, I do. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I'm going to use a little bit of black eyeliner on top. There's something about a little black line on the top of your eyelashes that just makes you more confident. I don't know what it is, but at least that's the situation for me. The only thing about using liquid eyeliner for me is I get it in my lashes because, like I said, they're getting really thick. <laughs> and so when I go to brush my eyelashes out um, before I put on mascara, liquid eyeliner goes everywhere. So let's see if I can do it today without making a mess. So there's the little line. Now I'm kind of debating on doing a wing, but I suck at doing wings. I'm not even exaggerating. I suck at it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to invest in some tape and just tape it. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to hold off on doing the wing because I am terrible at them. And I'm just going to invest in a little bit of, what is, what's it called, scotch tape. And I'm going to practice with scotch tape. So, let's just skip the wing for today. Matter of fact, last time I did a wing, I was on live, and I'm like, oh, this looks nice, until I got off camera, I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't even line up. <laughs> it was, it was terrible, guys, terrible. And if y'all don't understand that reference when I say terrible, Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's from the Cleveland show. I am a huge fan of um, the Cleveland show, American Dad, um, Family Guy. Obsessed. Obsessed with it. There's a lot of people I talk to, that's trash TV. Well, you know what? That's my trash TV. I love it. <laughs> Like, I will sit there and keep up with when the new season comes out, when the episodes come out. It's bad. Just like with meeting Shameless. Oh my gosh, I love Shameless so much. Um, and there's supposed to be a new season coming out next month. <laughs> but it's supposed to be the last season, so it's going to tick me off so bad when it actually ends. But, alright, so I'm putting some of this um, Express Blue eyeliner on my waterline. Let's see how this works out. Enjoy my crazy face for like two seconds. Whoa. Looks cute, but I poked myself in the eyeball. But I like that. I like that blue liner. I am obsessed with this blue liner. Oh my gosh. Oh, you know what would have been pretty too? I have a purple eyeliner. I think that would have been pretty too. Maybe I'll do that next time if I do this look again. Okay. All right, so before I put on mascara, I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight in the corner of my eye, right here in the inner corner, and my brow line, if I can find my brush. No, I can't keep up with anything. Oh, and I make some of the craziest faces, so it's all good. All right, so I'm coming in with the highlighter palette. You got pink, gold, and then you've got like this bronze color. For me, this bronze color is a little bit too dark to use for highlight. Um, so I use it as eyeshadow sometimes, but not today. So I'm thinking about coming in with this gold since it'll kind of go with this sateen ribbon that's right there. I think that'll be really pretty. Plus, y'all, if y'all watch my lives and keep up with what I do, 
Y'all know I'm obsessed with gold. <laughs> like, obsessed. Why? I don't know. Because, I mean, I guess it's because with my previous company, I tried their highlight and it was gold. It was the only one that I had. And I used it all the time. But as far as gold jewelry or stuff like that, like the actual color gold, I don't like. Or the jewelry. I don't like it. But this gold, I mean, it's just perfect highlight. Whereas my mom likes to say it's perfect. It's perfect, guys. <laughs> My mom, hopefully, fingers crossed, guys, knock on wood, nothing happens, but my mom um, is planning a trip up here soon, and I'm like, yay! My mom lives down in Florida right now, so it's kind of hard to, you know, visit, but every so often, maybe once a year or twice a year, um, so the fact that, you know, I heard she might be coming, I'm like, yay! <laughs> you know, I'm excited. And it's going to be around the time that my daughter's birthday party. So I'm like, well, yeah, that's awesome. I'm excited. So hopefully, knock on wood, that nothing happens. <laughs> Y'all, I love these colors together. This is so pretty. All right. So now the eyeshadow is done, it takes me forever to get through my eye makeup, and then once I get done, it's just like, phew, I'm done. So, let's put on this mascara and move on after I brush my eyelashes. Oh, and before I forget, this is so cute. Look at this. Uh, it's a little makeup bag that I can put in my purse for like my lipstick and stuff, because I'll put my lipstick in the bottom of my purse and end up losing it. So my husband got me this, so I can put my lipstick or whatever the case may be in this. I'm like, Yay! Even though our lipstick lasts, our liquid lipstick will last. My cat's going insane. But our liquid lipstick will go and last all day long. But yeah, that is adorable, guys. That's freaking adorable. And it's sparkly. Of course, it's got to be sparkly for me. All right, back to business. I'm coming in with the Zen mascara. I've been having it sit in my leg, between my legs, since I went live. So now it's good and warm, and I still didn't brush my eyelashes. Y'all, I am all kinds of sidetracked. I like to brush my eyelashes right before I put on mascara just to make sure that none of them are sticking together or you know, there's nothing in them like eyeliner. Okay. Now mascara. For real this time, guys. My cat's going insane. And something pretty cool happened last night. I was outside on the phone with my mom. And, um... We usually have this black and white cat that comes around. We feed her and we love on her. That's like our outside kitty kitty. We don't know whose cat it is. We don't know if somebody just dumped her because we live in a nicer neighborhood. I don't know. But we take care of that cat. But last night I was on the phone with my mom and the kitty kitty that we usually, you know, feed and stuff was sitting there. And I kept hearing a cat meow and I'm like, that's not kitty kitty. What? Well, who is that? And I go outside, um, because I was on my side porch, so I go out, I go back inside, go through my front door onto the front porch, and there's this huge freaking gray cat. Like, I've seen him running around the neighborhood, but I've never seen him, like, up close. That cat's, like, freaking Garfield, but gray, and I'm like, oh my gosh, is it gonna attack my cat that's, you know, outside? Y'all, that was the sweetest little cat. Well, big cat. He's a big cat. Um... And I sent a picture of him to my husband, not meaning anything by it. He's like, no. I'm like, <laughs> I didn't ask for him. I was just sitting there showing him a picture. No. Man, if I could have it my way, I would live with a crap ton of land and rescue all the critters. <laughs> like, I am a huge 
edible lover. I mean, not in the weird way, but just make sure they're okay. Make sure they're safe. Make sure they have food. I have the biggest heart when it comes to animals. Like people, not so much. <laughs> just being honest. But animals, they're awesome. Like when I first started college, I was actually taking criminal justice classes to be able to work with the ASPCA and stuff like that. But I kind of had a career change after my husband and I got married. and um, So I never did finish criminal justice. Um, once we got married and I realized, you know, I've got a lot on me. I'm taking care of two kids when I didn't have any kids at the time. I needed to adjust and stuff. And so I just kind of gave up on college for a while. Um, but I'll go back eventually. It's going to be kind of hard, though. Homeschooling the kids. Getting their assignments done on top of my assignments. And, you know, working from home and all that. But we'll see. We'll see what the future holds. Because, you know, you can't predict the future. Mm, I'm trying to figure out what um, foundation I want to use today. I think we're just going to use CC cream, to be honest. It's one of those days. It's a CC cream day. And my freckles are poking out a lot today. Just right here on the bridge of my nose. I need to invest in one of those, um, like hair bands that you can put on like when you're doing your makeup or face mask and stuff I mean I have one but it's from my previous company and I'm not with them anymore so I kind of don't want to rep their stuff on live you know what I'm saying I earned it though <laughs> I worked my butt off for it and that's why I'm really glad that I found pharmacy because you actually are paid your worth like for real you get paid your worth, you get paid for the effort that you put in, you get rewarded for the effort that you put in, you know, it's not just one of those companies that you just work your tail off and don't get anywhere. I have been in several of those, so I know what it's like to feel like, yeah, I finally found a company that I'm, you know, I can do good with, and then, you know, it just... <laughs> The pharmacy is a completely different story. Like I have found my forever tribe and it took me, I wanna say around two years to finally find, find my clique, my niche, my tribe, my family, whatever it is that you wanna call it. <laughs> but it took me a while, but now that I'm here, I'm running. And there ain't nothing gonna stop me. Like, I have got massive goals. And I wanna prove to my kids and myself and my granny, my parents, that if you put your mind to it, anything is possible. Because that's what my granny always told me. If you find something you love to do, do not give up on it. Ever. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna prove to my granny that I can do this. I hope you're having a good day. A little bit more CC cream, a little bit more coverage because I just want extra coverage today. I love seeing new faces, so thank y'all for hopping on. Hope y'all are having a good day. You wanna blend your foundation or CC cream or whatever it is that you're using on your neck too so you don't have two-tone. Like, this is a different shade than your neck. You want your neck and your face to look exactly the same shade for dang near close. Okay, my child went from being a little gremlin to a banshee, and now she's in there being a pterodactyl. Like, gosh. But at least she's cute, so. I can't really be too mad at her for being cute. I swear, she looks just like her daddy. See, my oldest bonus daughter looks a lot like her mama. No, excuse me. My oldest bonus daughter looks a lot like her daddy, but with her mama's eyes. And then my youngest bonus daughter looks just like her mama, except with my husband's eyes. And it's they're so cute. But my daughter looks exactly like her daddy, except with my ears. <laughs> it's crazy. I was always told 
you know, your first child, will, especially if you have a daughter, will look exactly like the dad. Dang if they were right. Alright, put a little, a little bit of lip conditioner because I completely forgot to do it at the very beginning. And I usually, I usually use lip conditioner, primer, and then, you know, everything else. But today, since I haven't been live in three days, it's just like completely whirlwind for me. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's crazy how you get into a routine of doing something and then you, you know, don't do it for a couple days and then you're like, all right, I gotta get back in this. All right, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm trying to figure out which bronzer I want to use. Either the Sun Kiss bronzer or the bronzer in the 3 in 1 face palette. And I'm not sure which one I want to use. And I'll go ahead and use the Sun Kiss bronzer. I love this bronzer. Um, every time I wear it, I just feel like I'm glowing. Plus, with the highlight, man, just to feel confident with your makeup on is just amazing. And I, you know, I have gotten messages before, like, why do you do your Facebook, you know, your Facebook lives? Why do you do makeup all the time? Why do you do makeup almost every single day? Because it makes me feel good. <laughs> That's why. All right. And I washed my brushes the other day, so they're kind of poopy today. You don't have to rework them. All right, so when I put on bronzer or any kind of contour to contour, I start from the top of my ear and just kind of go down against my cheek, well, jawline. Well, what is this? Cheekbone line? Cheekbones. That. <laughs> Swear. My father-in-law was so sweet the other day. I saw him the other day, and he's like, I've been watching your makeup on Facebook, and you're doing really good, but the past couple of times you've done your makeup? Wow. Well, I'm like, thank you. <laughs> I love my father-in-law. I have known him for 20 years now. That's, 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 he's, a, he was a good role model. Along with my parents and everybody else that I had in my life. What does it mean? Like, I'm trying to figure it out. Like, I've heard wives' tales before, but I don't really know much truth of them or anything like that. But what does it mean when your youngest kid is like, I want a baby brother or I want a sister? I have no idea what that means. I hope it just means that she's just, you know, want a sister one day or a brother one day, but, uh, you know, wives tales. I gotta Google it. So I don't know. I'm, I'm one of those people that don't believe in superstitions, but then again, I do. I, I'm, I'm on the fence about superstitions and wives tales and stuff like that. Like, when I was pregnant with my daughter, I actually went over my due date. And, um, you know, I started Googling wives' tales on, you know, how to speed up labor. And I was like, I was reading, like, pineapples and spicy food. I had my husband go get me pineapple that day. I had my husband go get me Taco Bell and crystals that day. I think that's what put me in labor. I honestly think that the pineapple put me in labor. So, I've got to look up that wives' tale as far as my youngest asking for a little sister. Like, what? Even though I have been having baby fever so bad. But like I said, in a post I made a couple weeks ago, I do have unexplained fertility issues. So, we'll see. One day. Alright, so a little bit of that bronzer. Here, and then down. down. Do, 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 do. Come on, Y'all, it was so funny the other day. My, my youngest was sitting there doing push-ups. And um, she's like, watch, Mommy, watch how I can do my push-ups. I swear to God, y'all. She wasn't pushing down with her arms. <laughs> I'm just sitting there cracking up. And the kids are like, why are you laughing so hard? I'm just like, right over your head. You don't need to know this one. <laughs> it was just, I cracked up. She was so funny, and she she was legit sitting there like, look at my push-ups, mommy, and like, 
Golly. <laughs> I can't even with y'all no more. I can't. I can't. No mas. All right, so I'm doing a little bit of that. Your brush is right here. I used it earlier. A little bit of that. You're, You're welcome. Beautiful. Thank you, love. Um, a little bit of that bronzer on the right here on my nose. Um, kind of give it a little bit more definition called snatch that nose. Snatch that nose, girl. Hi, hope you're having a good day. I hope you like that recipe I sent you. I um, Every time I send somebody a recipe, I'm literally sitting there. Are they going to like it? Because <laughs> some stuff, you know, I don't go by recipe at all because I can kind of like my own flavors. So I hope you like it. I really do. Like when my, my stepmom introduced me to tater tot casserole, the first time she made it, she used raw ground beef and thought that it would cook in, in the oven and it kind of didn't but you know you live and you learn um and she's tweaked the recipe herself like i know some people use um yeah let me know how you like it but some people use like i just use onions cheese and excuse me cream of mushroom ground beef tater pots some people add corn some people add mixed vegetables and i'm like you do what you do but i like it the way i like it it's just because if i'm gonna have a comfort meal I don't want a whole lot of vegetables <laughs> it's terrible but it's true like I want something something cheesy something good <laughs> I ain't got time for vegetables onions about the only thing I'm gonna put in my tater tot casserole that's the vegetable I would like to grow my own onions that would be cool I buy way too many of them so I need to start growing my own that and potatoes Oh my gosh, we go through some potatoes. Like, if I make mashed potatoes for a meal, I will use at least five pounds of potatoes that night. Oh my But I'm not one of those people that will eat instant mashed potatoes. I just, I don't like the flavor of it unless I put ranch in it and then it gets soupy. I just, I don't, if I make something, I'd like to make it from scratch unless it's macaroni and cheese. I mean, I can make macaroni and cheese from scratch, but. Who's got time for all that? <laughs> Every time we have macaroni and cheese. Who got time for all that? I don't. Y'all, I'm really, really trying to keep my hair down. <laughs> Yay. All right, so I'm coming back in with some liquid concealer. And I'm going to be putting it in the places that I want to highlight. Yeah, I don't know what it is but my stomach has been hurting like a lot last night and this morning i'm like i don't remember eating anything that's hurting my stomach i mean we did have mexican food for the first time in like forever the other day but i'm like that was a couple days ago though like what is going on with my stomach like it hurts makes me not want to eat anything I'm, I'm one of those people that if i don't feel good you can't get me to eat you just can't like yesterday my husband's like you've got to eat I'm like, i don't feel like it i made me some raw noodle soup and i had to dump it out i was like it don't even taste good I just, i'm just one of those weird people that i just i can't eat a lot if i don't feel good or at all Like, I already take medicine to the point where I can't eat breakfast. And then there's some days where I just won't eat until dinner time because I get so sidetracked. My husband's like, you've got to eat, woman. I try. I'll lay in the bed at night and eat a lot of junk food. <laughs> like, my husband got me a three-pound bag of gummy bears for Mother's Day. Those are gone. My husband bought me another bag of gummy bears. He bought me the five-pound bag off of Amazon after I ate the three-pound bag of gummy bears. But those are almost gone, too. My husband just ordered me a five pound bag of Reese's Pieces with the peanuts in it. And he just ordered me a 10 pound bag of peanut M&Ms. I love candy. <laughs> like the other day when I post made that post about, you know, post something that makes you happy that starts with the letter of your first name. The first letter of your first name. Candy, I love candy. <laughs> no, I don't like sour candy and I don't like crunchy candy a lot but m and with peanuts in it candy with peanuts oh my gosh peanuts are my weakness when it comes to candy like but as far as eating peanuts by themselves i don't want them a lot <laughs> i 
I'm just, I don't know. I'm just one of those, I'm a, I'm a character to say the least. That's all I can say is I'm, I'm just, a, I'm a different species. <laughs> like my daughter says all the time, man, weird. Thanks. I'll take that as a compliment. I don't care. I really don't. Reese's Pieces. Oh, they're so good. Chocolate and peanut. There's just something about chocolate and peanut butter. <laughs> Whoever came up with, like, that. Bravo. Freaking bravo. <laughs> because you've got me over here addicted. Reese's Cups. Oh, my gosh. Mmm. Look, I'm going to have to get off my camera and go over there and devour some candy now. Like, it's a legit 10-pound bag of freaking M&M's. I can't help it. I really cannot. And you know, the good thing is, as much candy as I eat, I mean, I, I take care of my teeth. I really take care of my teeth. Um, I'll brush my teeth twice a day, floss, you know, do what you're supposed to do. I don't have any cavities, especially with all the candy that I eat. I'm gonna end up with bad blood sugar or something. I don't know what it's called, but I'm gonna end up having issues if I don't lay off the candy. <laughs> You look, thank you. These were the ones I was talking about. I got off of Amazon. They were six dollars and some change with tax taxes. I don't I don't have to pay for shipping. We've got Prime. Thank gosh for Prime. Golly, like whoever decided, hey, we should come out with two day shipping for certain certain customers that pay for certain certain memberships. Bravo to you too. Because I love being able to order stuff and get it two days later. All right, so I'm coming in with a little bit of transparent powder over the liquid concealer. Go ahead and bake these bags. Is your husband supposed to be working this weekend? I know mine's supposed to be off, so I'm hoping yours is too. It's kind of... I'm just not even going to get on in, into that anymore, love. <laughs> I have choice words, and my husband knows exactly what I'm about to say. So, <laughs> let's just leave it at that. And I'm pretty sure you have the same exact feelings, boo. <laughs> Actually, I know you do. <laughs> it's bad. It's terrible. Holly, how far are y'all in um, Smallville now? No, he's not. Yay! Yay! Y'all finally get the weekend, and it's Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> how far are y'all in Smallville? I want to be able to talk to you about it, but I don't want to ruin anything. Because <laughs> I'm, like, way in there. Like, to the point of no return. <laughs> I love Superman, though. He's, uh, I love it. Like, Smallville. I'll be catching myself wanting to watch it while my husband's not here. And I'm like, nope, I can't do this to him. I get, I feel so betra betrayed if he watches something that we're watching together by himself. I'm like, you traitor. So, I can't do that to him. But, gosh, I want to watch my Smallville. It's getting so good. <laughs> I'm a nerd. When it comes to stuff like this, I am a, such a huge nerd. And I can, no shame. No shame. Like, I don't get all about superheroes very often, but I love Superman. Yeah, my hub does too. And I'm like, man, why? <laughs> but, I mean, I, uh, I get it, but I don't want to get it. I don't. Like, Why? But, at the same time, i got to think about it. If he has to work on a day that he's not supposed to, at least it's a little extra on the paychecks. But still sucks, because, you know, we need our family time. And they have them working, like, working their little tushies off. That, that's appropriate for Facebook Live, right, tushy? <laughs> it's a lot better than the alternative. Season two. Oh gosh. Uh, okay, I can't say anything then. <laughs> ah man, I can't. All right, so I'm gonna let this bake for a second. Ew, it's cold. I can't even with cold coffee. Well, I used to love cold coffee. I don't know what my problem is now. It's just a malfunction, I guess. Don't your taste buds change like every seven years or something like that? 
don't know. It must be. And it looks like I'm infatuated with my, with my hair when I keep doing this. I'm not. I'm just trying not to look like a wally bugger on camera. Because I really do feel like a wally bugger on camera because of my hair. <laughs> you like my coffee cup? Thank you. Um, it's one of those Death Wish coffees. They are handmade. They only made 5,000 of these. And I've got number 2,758. <laughs> they are very limited edition. I've got several um, different ones. I've got black ones. I've got the Jekyll and Hyde one. I've got this one, the Statue of Liberty. They are amazing coffee cups. Um, they're super durable. Like I can put them in the dishwasher. I can put them in the microwave. <laughs> I probably not, don't need to put them in the microwave, but I do. And it's all good. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what um, blush I'm gonna use. I'm gonna come in with number one, Modern Ballet. I've got this whole like, bronzy look going on so I want to add to it all I know though is I want to have fun this weekend dog dag nabbit <laughs> just I want to have fun I want to be an adult for a little while might possibly see if the girls want to spend the night at somebody's house for the at least Saturday night so we can just have an adult night <laughs> y'all y'all really don't know how long it's been since we've actually been able to actually be adults like we've had people over you know, a couple beers here and there but not to actually be an adult to actually just get to enjoy adult time without having to what are the kids doing you know what I'm saying I need it I need me time but the only thing is my bonus owners don't have a problem with going to spend the night with somebody like somebody in the family no problem but my youngest uh -uh. she doesn't she doesn't handle that stuff very well I mean, she doesn't go far from me at all. She's not away from me very long. She goes, if she leaves the house with anybody, it's with my husband. And he brings her home, you know. So she's never really anywhere, hasn't been anywhere without my husband and I, except when she was late. I, I want to say she was around six weeks old. I had my sister watch her because um, I was helping my grandma move at the time. Um, she was moving from where she, she was living in... Um, assisted living in Macon and it was just going I don't like Macon if you're local you know how Macon is um, I don't like Macon I did not want her at in Macon so she moved in with my dad at the time um, but yeah that's the only time that she's actually been away from me is when she was at my sister's with me helping to move my grandma and the whole time you know six weeks after having a baby you're still going through postpartum you're still going through all the things and um i cried i'm like my baby because <laughs> i was so used to her you know either in my belly or on me after she was born <laughs> i mean it's mother bond like from the very get-go it's just an amazing thing like, I honestly don't understand how some women have kids and just, you know, not be a part of the life. I mean, I get it. Like, if you have a child with somebody and you end up not staying with the mom or dad and you have to move, like, you know, this is a different thing for me. But, um, as far as just, like, having nothing to do with your kids, I don't know how. I, I just, I don't know. Um, I mean, sometimes people have to move due to circumstances or whatever, and that's, that's cool. You know, whatever. As long as you still try with your kid, I guess. But there's just, there's just those, the parents that just don't have anything to do with their kids, I can't stand it. Like, no, you can't do that to these babies. They didn't do nothing to deserve it, you know? But the parents that, you know, did split up and they're still, you know, trying to be as much in their child's life as they can, kudos, you know, kudos. I don't know what would happen. <laughs> you know, all I'm saying is, you know, there ain't nothing going on between me and my husband. If anything did happen, at least I know that he would be very much involved. You know what I'm saying? But there ain't nothing happening to me and my husband. He's stuck with me. <laughs> like, if he tried to go anywhere, where are we going? Where we going? You ain't getting rid of me. I've known you for 20 years. Well, you ain't going nowhere now. I done got you. Waited 20 years for you. I'm just kidding. It was more like 12. Because my husband and I met in 2000. And we started dating in 2012. Yeah. So 12 years. 
It's crazy how I've known him that long and then we've been together as long as we have. And a lot of people are like, y'all, you're just, you're just rebounding and stuff like that. Because I, when my husband and I first started dating, um, I had just broke off an engagement with some dude. I'm not going to go into who. I, as far as I know now, he's doing good. But back then, he was just immature. I couldn't deal with it. And I was like, nah, nah. <laughs> because a lot of people have seen that I am more mature for my age than people around me. Um... I just, I can't handle immaturity. I don't like, that's, this is one thing I don't like. There's a few things I don't like. I don't like immaturity. I don't like people lying to me. If you're going to you gonna talk to me, just be honest. I am too understanding of a person to be lied to. I might not agree with what you're saying, but I can understand. You know what I'm saying? I don't like, um, being lied to, um, I don't like lazy people. Like, I get it, you know, be lazy every once in a while, but actually just literally doing nothing, I can't handle it. Like, if you're a stay-at-home mom and you're doing stuff, you're doing stuff all day long. You're taking care of your kids or you're doing cleaning and stuff like that. Good, good. You know I mean? But there's just people that just sit on the couch and don't do nothing all day, every day. No, it's different. Lazy days are good. Self-care days are good. But the fact that, you know... There's just some people I know that just don't do anything except sit there and watch TV and just complain. And I'm like, yeah, you can't vibe with me. I can't vibe with you. I love, I love everybody. Don't get me wrong. I love everybody. I just, I, I'm just not personally one of those people that can just not do something. But I need to start taking lazy days. Like yesterday morning, was it yesterday morning? Yeah, yesterday, my mor yesterday morning, my husband got up, made the kids breakfast, um, helped with the dishes, and started vacuuming, and I felt bad. I'm like, those are my chores. But I was just, you know, complaining about, I don't ever get any help. No, 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 no. I do get help. It's just not the way I do things, and so I'm just like, nee. I'm nitpicky. I don't know. Like, if I, if I want something done, it's got to be done the right way the first time or my way. I have a certain thing I do things. I'm just very OCD, I guess, about certain things that get done or how they get done. I don't know why. It's just me. <laughs> it's just the way I am. My kids can't stand it. They're like, ah, I did what you asked. No, you didn't. You did not do what I asked you to do because when I tell them to do something, I'll sit there in detail how I want it done, when I want it done, and stuff like that. That way, when they become an adult, they know how to do things the correct way. And I just, I'm like, mm, very ticky about stuff. They can't stand it, but. <laughs> uh, whatever. Uh. All right, so now my favorite part is lipstick. I don't know, and some people might take offense to me saying what I said about lazy. I'm not meaning to be offensive. It's just there's different personality types, you know, and to each their own. I just, me personally, I don't, I can't stand it. I'm just, I'm always go, 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 go. Sometimes I wish I wasn't. Like last night, um, I had found out some news about my granny that I didn't particularly handle. Like I need to, um, like I know it's one of those things, it's, it's about time. Um, I'm not going to get into it until it's actually confirmed what we're planning on doing with my granny. But um, I just wasn't handling it very well last night. I was depressed. I was crying. My granny means the world to me, so I'm not handling certain things good. Um, I'm going to get teary eyed and I just did my makeup. But, um, so I stayed up late last night trying to take my mind off of everything that's going on. And I ended up printing, like, 20 days worth of schoolwork, um, off my phone for the kids for their schoolwork coming up this year. Just to keep my mind off things. And then I realized what time it was. And I'm like, eh, I need to go to bed. Sitting there doing schoolwork. And then, of course with me doing their schoolwork, I've got like, I'm, I'm trying to process what I want to do, when I want to do it, how I want to do it, 
that even after I turned everything off and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to try to go to bed, I laid there for like another hour trying to get my, my mind to just stop. <laughs> because I'm one of those people, my mind never stops moving. It never stops coming up with ideas or scenarios or situations. Or, Can I handle this better? Can I have done that better? You know, it's, I am my own worst critic. I mean... You know, I do get, you know, hate emails every once in a while. Like, why do you do this? You know, your makeup's this, that, and the other. I do get those. And I, those don't bother me as much as my own personal crit critiquing of myself. Like, I'm hard on myself really bad. It's, it's bad. I'm really hard on myself. I don't mean to be, but it just happens. Like, I'm always pushing myself to keep going, keep pushing, pushing, pushing to the point where I'm just like, yeah. Exactly. We're, I am my worst enemy at, at this point um, as far as getting in my own head. Um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know whether I want to do bold or if I want to just do natural, neutral colors. Skin tone. <laughs> There is a lippy that we have called skin. I don't have that one yet. I don't know if I want that one. But well, I want them, but I don't. I don't, I don't know. Oh, I swear. The life of being one of those indecisive people. Bold okie dokie. And it's your favorite, so. I love this one too, though. Not even lying. That's another thing. Before pharmacy, I never would have thought that I would actually wear like a almost purple looking lipstick and look decent. And I'm like, I can do it. If I like it, that's what matters, right? And that's what I tell uh, my oldest because she'll do her makeup sometimes with the stuff that I've given her. And um, is it, she'll come, is it pretty? Hold on. Do you like it? Do you like how you did your makeup? Yeah. That's all that matters. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter what your sisters think. It don't matter what anybody else thinks. Do you like it? You can't live to please everybody. I, I've lived that life. It sucks. You can't live to please everybody. Because no matter how hard you try, there's always going to be somebody that ain't liking what you're doing. You know what? That's okay, too. Because you know what? I don't care. <laughs> it took me 27 years to finally get to the point where, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> at least at least what other people think. Now, what I think, it matters a lot to me. Because like I said, I am my worst critic. And I have also noticed that when I do my lipstick that this side usually looks thinner than this side or this side looks thinner than this side. Come to find out this side of my lip, like the top lip, is actually a little bit higher than this side. So if I, you know, kind of make it equal, I'm going over my lip line a little bit on this side. So I'm like, I'm going to go ahead and get some lip liners. I mean, with these lipsticks, you don't need lip liner because, like I said, the applicator is look, it's super precise. But... I'm going to try a lip liner just to see if that helps with this side um, as far as height of my lip. Because I have seen girls on Facebook that try to get the bigger lip look that will go completely over their lip line. And I'm like, oh, hunty. Oh, hunty. But, at the same time, I am not one of those girls that go on other girls' pictures and stuff. Oh, well, you should do this with your lipstick, and you should do that with your lipstick. No, 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 no. Mm-mm. Nope. Because, like I tell my oldest, do you like your makeup? That's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? Instead, I will go on there, you look beautiful today. See the difference between person that people's personalities? Some people can go on there, well, I don't think you should have done this and this and this. And then there's some people... You look beautiful today. Uh, you know, 
I am all about um, lifting people up. It doesn't matter if I agree with you or not. I'm going to make sure you feel good, though. You're happy. You feel like someone actually sees you and can boost your confidence a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You know what would be cool? If I was to become a life coach. Because I'm constantly trying to make people, you know, oh, you look nice today. Oh, you, you know, I'm trying to teach the kids that too. Treat people the way you want to be treated. But then again, I don't know if I could be a life coach because I would have to take my own advice. And sometimes I don't do that. <laughs> sometimes I'm just one of those people that get all up in my feelings and won't be left alone. <laughs> and don't bother me when I'm in one of those feels. You know what I'm saying? I like it. That's pretty. <laughs> I have become one of those people. It's, it's kind of funny, but kind of not funny because it makes me sound so conceited. But ever since, you know, I've started getting more comfortable with the pharmacy makeup and as far as different colors and stuff, I'll walk past the mirror, but whoa, that's good makeup. <laughs> but my husband even said something the other day about your makeup skills have improved so much since we first started dating. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm not one of those people that can handle a compliment very well. I feel so awkward. <laughs> so when someone gives me a compliment, I'm like, you're not talking to me, right? You're talking to, you know, right? <laughs> no, I don't handle compliments. It makes me feel so weird. And sometimes when I post a picture on Facebook and, you know, people post, oh, I like your makeup. Oh, you're so pretty. I'm just like, what do I say? <laughs> what do I say? I mean, I'm like, thank you. You know, I appreciate it. You're pretty too. I really, you know, I really like how you do your makeup. I really like how you, you know, dress or your hair color or whatever. But I'm just so awkward. That's about the only thing I can come up with. I want to say more, but then I'm like, they're probably going to sit there and think I'm some sort of weirdo. I, I'm just socially awkward. It's, it's bad. It's really bad. Like, I have talked to people that want to join my team. They're like, but anxiety, anxiety, anxiety. You know what? This is anxiety. This is me jabbering. Me jabbering. I'm anxious right now. Like every time I go live, I'm anxious <laughs> and I'm awkward, but I, I, I'm, I'm who I am. And that's, I'm, it's like I posted the other day. There's only one you and you're irreplaceable. Own it. It don't matter what other people think. It don't because everybody's different. Everybody was raised different. Everybody's different. Everybody has different lifestyles. Everybody has different beliefs. And it's not our place, or at least mine, to judge that. In my opinion, that's God's, that's God's um, territory. I'm not going to judge you. That ain't, my, that ain't my job, you know. <laughs> Everybody, you know, has to face what they've done in life. And it ain't my place to sit there and be the one to judge you for what you do. What's, how's it going? Thou shalt not cast the first stone or something like that. That's how I live. I ain't no judge you. I used to be so judgmental though. I'm not even gonna lie. Back when I was younger, I would judge you so bad. Now, mm -hmm. that's right, you know. It's just, I don't, I, it's gotten to the point past couple days I haven't been on Facebook like actually live and just scrolling Facebook commenting on stuff I have seen so much negativity as far as people being judgmental people being um oh last step was time locker set and spray sorry y'all um and the lippy was confident but just so much negativity so much hate so much animosity towards people because oh I'm doing it because of quarantine or I'm so frustrated because of quarantine so I'm, I'm frustrated too, but that don't mean I'm going to be ugly about it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a lot of people use stupid excuses to just be judgmental and mean. There's no reason for it. At the end of the day, there is no reason to be ugly. Everybody does different things. Everybody, you know, has a different way of thinking about things. And it's not our place to judge others. That's all creators, you know, our God, he, that's his, that's his thing.
I mean, if you're not a believer, um, believe what you want to, but I personally believe that's God's decision to judge, not mine. Exactly. I have started to limit myself on Facebook as far as um, timeline. Matter of fact, I've actually started going through my Facebook friends list and I have deleted... Hang on, I got lipstick on my test. I have deleted dang near 1,500 people off my Facebook within the last month. 1,500 people. <laughs> Just because I'm over it. Like, done. Done. I mean, not everybody on my Facebook that I personally know. I mean, I don't know that many people. But it was more like a network thing. But then I started realizing more and more negativity I've seen. And I'm like, if I see it... It's going to start bringing me down. Let me eliminate the problem. I don't want anybody on my friends list that's negative Nancy's. I've actually got, I will go through profile by profile by profile deleting people. And it's crazy because of how many people I've deleted so far. But I ain't done yet. Mm -mm, I ain't done. I am not. I ain't going to stop until I know that majority of the people on my Facebook are either, you know, friends and family, of course. But then positive people even if I don't know them because you know with network marketing there are some people on my friends list I ain't never met a day in my life like my sponsor I ain't met her a day in my life but I trust her with my life now you know it's because we built that bond you know what I'm saying but I'm not gonna stop until I know for sure that my friends list is nothing but positive as a matter of fact I have not even accepted the first friend request in a month almost <laughs> almost a month so I gotta do what I can to make my brain happy and if it means cutting back and who I talk to who I associate with even if it's family you know what I'm saying even sorry I've got a notification Whoop, sorry there we go sorry I had a notification um I don't care who it is at this point if you're gonna bring down my juju <laughs> bye. you know I don't have time for that I've got three kids that I'm raising that I have to teach What's right? What's wrong? What's okay? What's not okay? You know what I'm saying? I don't have time to sit there and be petty on Facebook or Instagram. I, matter of fact, I haven't even been on Instagram in a couple weeks. I tried so hard to start posting pictures on Instagram again, but with me going, you know, dealing with my Facebook, trying to clean it up, starting my YouTube channel and stuff like that, I don't have time for Instagram. So if y'all message me on Instagram, I'm sorry I have not seen it. <laughs> If you want to get in contact with me, you're going to have to hit me up on Facebook. I use Facebook majority of the time. It's Facebook and YouTube. And majority of my YouTube videos are actually my Facebook lives. Um, because I'm a mom of three. I don't have time to go live on Facebook. Take it all off just to do a makeup tutorial for YouTube. So I'll just take my Facebook lives and post them on YouTube. And it has been literally, like after I figured out how I could do it, it has been a game changer, so I'm like, ah! <laughs> I can't say. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, the other day was the first time that I actually sang in front of my husband. Like, actually sang in front of him. We've been together eight years. I just, I was one of those people, I was in chorus in school. <laughs> but every time we had a concert, we had a choice. Either go to the concert and perform, or do an essay. Guess who did the essays? <laughs> I did the essay just because back then actually talking to people, even if it was just walking up to the teacher or walking up to a friend of mine, I couldn't do it. And the fact that I'm, I've am i grown so much to be able to do Facebook Lives is incredible. Because, <laughs> you know, when I first started network marketing, um, I started with a company, I don't even think they're around anymore, called MCA. Um... Motor Club of America. I thought that was a jam. I mean, nothing against the company, I guess. I don't know if they're still around or not, but if they are, I'm not knocking y'all. Don't come on my doorstep, okay? <laughs> but I'm not knocking. But, I mean, the thought of going live and talking about that, I never did. And then I went to a different company um, with legal services. Again, not knocking the company. Great company. I just, it wasn't for me. And then I went from that legal company to makeup. Um, and 
due to not wanting to tick anybody off or anything like that. I'm not going to say the company name. Um, but I only went live with them probably three times, three, four times in the whole almost year that I was with them. The pharmacy, on the other hand, I'm on live almost every, every day, except for this past couple of days. I probably, like I said, um, I think it was my last live. Um, I will be having to adjust my live schedule once the girls do go to their moms for summer break um, because my youngest is used to playing with my bonus daughters while I go live and they're not going to be here. So I might, it's either going to have to be during the day when she's content, which half the time she's not and she's by herself, <laughs> or when she's in the bed. Um, so I'm going to have to adjust my lives according to that until they come back home. Um, let's see what time is it? Sorry, y'all. It's two o'clock. All right. I have got to, um, hop off. I hate it because I've, I've been enjoying talking, um, and chatting and all that, but I've got to get everything ready to cook dinner and, um, I don't even know what I'm cooking. So I gotta go figure out what I'm cooking and, uh, finish laundry and stuff for my husband to go to work tonight. Um, I'm going to try to go live again tomorrow, probably a little earlier than I did today. Um, so we'll see. Husband's off work tomorrow, so I'm just going to have to see if he goes to bed or not. <laughs> so I don't go live when he's awake and home. If he's home, he's got to be asleep for me to go live. It's just so weird. We've been together eight years, and I'm still just as nervous as the first day we started dating. It's so sweet, but it's kind of weird. But anyway, so I'm going to do my best to go live tomorrow. Um, and I will be going live on Saturday since he is day shift. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, not yeah, as in he's got to work Saturday, but yeah, he's day shift, so I don't have to worry about him popping on my live. <laughs> um, so, I will definitely try to go tomorrow and Saturday. Sunday, um, probably not. Um, I'm going to take the day to kind of just spend time with my husband um, since he is going to be home from work. Um, so, until next time I go live, y'all stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.